Welcome back everyone. Last week we talked all about optimizing natural fertility, so if you missed any of those great tips about getting pregnant fast, go back and check out episode two. Which means this week we are on week three of our 40 week pregnancy journey, and we're gonna be talking about everything that happens after ovulation, fertilization, the embryo's journey, implantation, and the dreaded two week wait. Make sure you stay tuned at the end of this episode, we're gonna take a pregnancy test. We're both really excited about that part. Um, but in case this is your first time meeting us, we're both doctors documenting our own trying to conceive and hopefully our own pregnancy journey, sharing some expert medical information along the way. And I'm Sarah. I'm an OBGYN. I'm Kurt, a pediatrician. And we, and we are, are the, the Doctors Bjorkman. Doctors Bjorkman. Today is week three in our week-by-week -week guide to everything that's happening in pregnancy from the doctor's side of things. This 40-week series is going to cover everything in terms of baby's development and pregnancy, labor, and delivery. In addition to all of that, we're also going to be sharing what's going on in real life. The books we're reading, things we're doing to prepare, and other things we're learning as hopeful soon-to-be parents. We're going to find out if all that advice we've been giving patients over the years is going to stack up. And stay tuned, at the end of this episode, we are going to take a pregnancy test after our very own two-week wait. Yeah. Last week we talked all about ovulation, tips to get pregnant fast, but what about after all of that effort? What happens next? So in other words, this week we're going to be talking about during that two-week waiting period after ovulation before you can take a pregnancy test. So the two week wait is brutal. Uh, the days kind of just crawl by and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm feeling my boobs to see if I'm feeling any changes and I'm looking for body changes and Googling all sorts of things. I'm an OBGYN and I'm Googling these forums on when people got their first pregnancy positive pregnancy test and I'm Googling what people's early pregnancy symptoms were and looking at things about implantation bleeding and it just makes you crazy. And then you have another two week wait because you weren't pregnant the first time and then you have another one and I'd say by the third one I was convinced I would probably never get pregnant. Um, and I know that these things are all normal. So it's a crazy process and that's where we're at. Which means that we're going to talk about the very first meeting of sperm and egg and that journey and development of a baby embryo. So around day 14 of the menstrual cycle, the ovary releases an egg and that is called ovulation. That is that big event that you are trying to time sex with to optimize your chances of getting pregnant. After that egg is released, the fallopian tube sweeps around the ovary and picks up that egg in about two to three minutes and then pulls it into the upper end of the fallopian tube and there is where that egg and sperm meet, usually within 24 hours of the egg being released. That, that fertilized egg hangs out in the upper end of the fallopian tube for about three days before making an epic three-day journey down the tube to the uterus. This first six days, however, isn't just about making a journey from the ampulla to the uterus. During this time, the fertilized egg is actually maturing, growing and dividing, growing and dividing, going from two cells to four cells to eight cells until it's a 64 cell blastocyst, which at that time is already starting to differentiate in between the part that is the placenta and the part that is the baby. Over the week after that, there's a complex series of events that occurs as this gets ready for implantation. Implantation occurs usually around day nine, but could be anywhere from day six to day 12. It is also around this time of implantation that the outer layer of cells of the blastocyst start secreting human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, and that is the hormone that you've been waiting for because HCG is what is detected by a pregnancy test. HCG can be detected in the blood as early as eight days after fertilization, and that level just keeps growing and growing until it's able to be detected in the urine um, around 10 to 14 days after fertilization. And that's what you're picking up on your home pregnancy test. Okay, let's talk about pregnancy tests. Some people say, wait till you're missed period. Some people start testing on post ovulation day eight. That was me. I just couldn't wait and started peeing on a stick 
as soon as I thought there was a chance that there was HCG in the urine. Um, so there's a variety of tests. If you're gonna test early, this is a the one I use because it detects an HCG level of like six to 10. Um, there are the digital ones that have a digital readout that say pregnant or not. There's the triple pack where one is an early test, one is done in 60 seconds, and then one's digital. Um, they're all super expensive. And so by my second or third two week wait, I said, we just can't pay for that. And so I found these Wandfo six days sooner on the lovely Amazon. I will put a link for them below. Um, and they are little strips. It comes in a pack of 25 tests and they detect an HCG of 10. So this is how to pregnancy test early on a budget. Having done all this testing and early testing, I will say the one downside to starting to test early is that you get that negative on post ovulation day eight, and then you get a negative on post ovulation day 12, and then you get another negative, and then you get your period. And it was just so many days of kind of being let down that it can be really hard. And so you are gonna have to decide what is best for you and what your heart can handle in this process. So we want you to know that even though the building anticipation you may be feeling during this two week wait can border on torture, uh, there's a couple of things you can keep in mind that might make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. The pregnancy hasn't really stuck until six to eight days after the sperm meets the egg. And then after that, there's still a few more days until the pregnancy hormone gets to a level that's detectable on your home pregnancy test. Right. Knowing all of this for us, I think made it a bit more exciting as we are rooting the process on uh, every two week journey we went through. Um, and also made it a bit more exciting knowing when test day was coming. So stay tuned. We are going to take a pregnancy test here at the end of our two week wait right after this. And please keep in mind, you may have to endure a few of these two week waits before you get your positive pregnancy test. And that is very normal. So we're back. We're on month three of trying. Month three, post ovulation day number 11. 11. 11. Um, and we're going to see if uh, this month was the month. Fingers crossed. More disappointment or maybe some excitement. Um, I think neither of us are that optimistic this month for whatever reason. Um, partially because Sarah was negative yesterday when she tested with <laughs> Um But we'll see what happens today. Yeah, is it time? Can you look now? We can look now. Okay, let's you, look. You gonna look? Sure. How am I gonna look? We'll look. Did you see that already? <laughs> is that a fake one? This is not a drill. This one's real. This one's real. You're kidding. No. You're not kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's two lines this month. No way. <laughs> okay, do we have to keep recording? I mean, I thought it would be really funny to get this live because um. I knew he would cry. Anyway, well, that's exciting. That's exciting. I didn't think that was going to happen. How does it make you feel? Really scared um, and excited and nervous. And um, we'll find out. Now we get to see what happens. We're hoping it sticks. Yeah. Lots One of in, things can happen. A lot of things can happen. One in four clinically recognized pregnancies ends with miscarriage. And this is not clinically recognized yet. We would be three weeks and four days along at this point. So Cool. Way to really bring the excitement level up for this moment. <laughs> so, uh, OBGYN brain just doesn't shut off. Anyway, there's two lines. That's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also this one. You what? Why did you do these? Did you know this? <laughs> did you know this? Yeah. You knew today? Yeah. You're such a jerk. <laughs> I may or may not have tested this morning while Kurt was at work. He is on call this weekend. And uh, I thought it was too early. I didn't think it'd be positive. But I take those stupid little tests every day. And actually yesterday I thought it was starting to turn positive on that little strip. But I thought I was imagining it. I was like, no, that's just an evaporation line. I'm making this up. Like, I was, Three positive. It was very much what they call a squinter. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, because I sent pictures to Mel and she was like, take another one. So. Anyway, well, uh, the tests say pregnant. Probably can't read that. That's Probably not, out of yeah. focus. But anyway, um, I guess we've got, um, 38 weeks to go. <laughs> 
So uh, we'll see you next week. We're doctors. But not your doctors. Anything we've said in this video is for education or entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. Any specific medical questions you have should be directed to your provider.